Okay, so I'm very excited actually because for the past four or five months, I've been working on something that I'm very excited about and I'm going to share that with you in this video. But you had to wait until the end of this video so, so I tell you. So you probably know that in order for you to be good at something, whatever you're learning, you have to spend about 10,000 hours or so doing that thing in order to be really good at it, to become an expert. Although I believe in that, I think it's true, uh, but I think there's something else or a few things that that kind of way of thinking uh, this concept is missing. When it comes to learning something, let's say you want to learn Python programming because we talk about programming in this video or in this channel. It's not just about spending 10,000 hours learning Python or learning a programming language. I think it's important to actually understand what that really means. What that means, the 10,000 hours paradigm, if I may call it, it just means you have to spend time, a lot of time doing something until you get really good at it. But I argue that it's not just about spending a lot of time doing something because you could spend a lot of time doing something, but you're learning it wrong. And so do you still become an expert? So that is the pitfall. That is the problem I see with this overly generalized way of saying, talking about learning something, a skill to become really good at it. So this 10,000 hour concept, I think is missing a few things specifically when it comes to learning programming in general. So here's how you should think about this. When you're starting in your programming journey, most likely you are just confused, utterly confused. You have no idea uh, where to start. There's just so much out there. So you're confused. You have no direction. You kind of in fear a little bit because you don't know who to trust. What is the best way to do X, Y, and Z? What do you do? So it's just utterly confusion. Okay. And so if you are confused, you're lost. And the worst feeling when you are trying to accomplish something with your life or in your journey or in your career is the fear, confusion. So because that just immobilizes you, so you are not going to go anywhere. And even if you figure out, okay, this is the path that I need to follow in order to be good at Python. Well, if you go on the internet, there's just so much. And that's the beauty of the internet. We have a lot of information and all these great things, tutorials on YouTube and all these great things. I mean, information is really great. It's good. It's important. That's why we're here. But then the problem is, you just have too much. So when you have too much information, it's what we call noise. So you have a lot of noise, which again, takes you back to number one, which is confusion, because now you have a lot of information, you thought you waited through all the unknowns, but then you're back to the knowns, yet you have to go back to the confusion because there's so much out there. And number three, even if you're able to wade through all of that, right, confusion, and now you have some sort of direction, you have the information, and even through that information, you were able to gather yourself up and find something, you know, a good tutorial or something that allows you to actually follow through, you still have the problem of accountability. So if you want to be good at something, you have to have some sort of accountability. And accountability sometimes comes in a form of peers or somebody else who's learning along with you or you're learning along with them. You have an instructor or somebody, a professor. So that is part of accountability. And so when you don't have that, it's very difficult for you to be able to actually learn a language or a framework because you don't have a map. So all in all to say that if you want to be good at anything, it's not just about the 10 hours, I don't think. It's about having those pillars. Number one, you have to unconfuse yourself. Number two, you have to have a good guide. And in order to have a good guide in this information era with a lot of noise, you have to wade through a lot of noise, of course, to get to that good guide. There's the fourth pillar that I believe it's actually going to help you more than the 10,000 hours. The fourth pillar is understanding that whenever you want to learn programming, there's always the leverage point, what I call the leverage programming language. I will explain to you. So the reason why I like Python is because if you learn Python, you get really good at Python, you can leverage that language and do all sorts of things. Because Python is one of those languages that is very uh, versatile. It's modern, it's fast, it's easy to learn and it's used to build pretty much whatever you want to build from a very high scalable software to visual beautiful visual data science um, 
images and designs and so forth, to machine learning, to dealing with AIs, large language models, and many, many other things, and to even building video games. So Python is versatile. That is what I mean by having a leverage language. So Python is one of those languages. It gives you leverage. That is the fourth pillar. Find a programming language that you can use as a leverage because with that language, you can then do all sorts of things easily. But even the fifth pillar here that I'm going to add is you want to use a leverage language attached to a framework. In the case of Python, you would want to use Python, but also you would attach it to Flask or attach it to Django as a framework, strong framework, so that you learn not only the language, but you're also learning the backend side of things. You're learning how to create APIs, how to connect to databases, authentication, creating users, and all of that. And in front end as well, you can use Python, which you can attach to other technologies. So you see what I'm saying? Now all of that, the base is Python, but now attach that to a framework. There we go. Because even if you're learning Python, you're not just learning Python for the sake of it, even though you're learning, now you are attaching it to a framework where you can actually do something useful, something that you can be proud of, but also you can show to potential employers who can then hire you because you are competent. That's what I mean by finding a program language that gives you leverage. Five, six months ago, I started thinking about it and then I started putting together this course. I don't know if I should call it a course, but it's more of like a guide that allows you not only to learn Python, but with this concept of connecting you to an actual framework and other things like AI, uh, creating automation scripts and uh, visualization, all of that. But the core here is that we have the language itself, which is the leverage language, the language that gives you leverage. But also you have this framework, which now you're learning other things, other skills, all of that from your leverage language. So now we're not only you're understanding or learning this language, Python, but you're also learning Django in this case. So that is the idea I had. And for the past three, four, five months, I believe, I've been putting together this bundle, this course. And for the past three, f five days, actually, I've had a few of my closest students, online students, to enroll in the course and give me feedback. And now we have about over a thousand people who have enrolled and they are liking the guide, the course, because of what I just showed you. Attachment to an actual framework so you learn a framework as you learn the language. I'm very excited about this project. I've, I've been working on this project for a while. And the idea of this project, this kind of course is something I've never done before. The idea is that this map of a course, essentially, is going to help you get rid of all that confusion you're not confused anymore. You know exactly what needs to learn, but most importantly, you understand how to leverage one programming language and get good at it, but also learning a framework so you learn how to actually get stuff done, how to build stuff. This is more than just a course. It's something I've been working on for a long time, and it's now available for you to enroll. And I am so, so excited, so excited, in case you can't tell that it's out there right now. And you're invited. So if you want to support me, the work I do, but also want to support yourself or put yourself in a position of power and leverage, then check out the link in the description and check out the course. There's a lot of bonuses too. I'm not going to go into all of that, but just go ahead for the first 100 people who enroll, they're going to have a discount and it's in the link in the description. So I'm so excited, so, so excited to have put this together. Thank you so much for your time. Again, go ahead and enroll. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. And I can't wait to see you.